Hey guys, King Varlia here with another episode of Dragon Warrior. After running a few, um, using a battle simulator I found online for Dragon Warrior 1, I have determined that we are best uh, leveling up, like, some more. Unfortunately, it's going to take more than one episode, probably, to level up. On the upside... Uh... We can fight longer before we need to heal. And also, I have regretfully found out that, unfortunately, you don't get any, uh, you don't get a defense bonus from magic armor at all. All it does is just let you regenerate health. Although I do suppose it is worth something. Oh yeah, Radiant. So we need to be about 10,000 to level up. I wonder why they have that door there. That's what I should have asked a while ago. The answer... Wraith Knights. Yeah, I forgot how much the game slows down when you hit this point. But by level 15, we should be able to push ahead a little bit. If not, then we're going to have a serious problem. And I did a little bit of research on Magic the Gathering and its new set, Dragon's Maze. Uh, the third and uh, final set in the Return of Ravnica block. Uh, let's see. The Return of Ravnica block, um, I don't know that much about the storyline behind it except for Dragon's Maze, which had actually came out about uh, uh, almost two weeks ago. Well, in America at least. And... The uh, fighting broke out again among the ten guilds of Ravnica. Uh, f uh, ten guilds, each with a combination of two out of five colors that Magic the Gathering uses. I have, in total, three uh, decks of the, of the ten guilds, um, which, for the most part, fit into my playstyle. Uh, Golgari Swarm they have uh, strong creatures. It's a green black. And th their power comes from having dead creatures. In fact, I have a uh, dual deck with the Golgari as one of the combatants, for lack of a better word. As one of the two decks. And 
I combined it along with my Golgari Swarm boost or uh, no, a starter deck. And well, the combination doesn't seem to be working well as I keep getting creamed by the same decks I've been before. My friend started out with a Simic deck, and decided, which is a uh, green-blue. Uh, its strategy relies on stronger creatures to be played to power up weaker ones. The Golgari Swarm, their gimmick is using creatures in the graveyard to power up the ones that are on the field. And my brother has the Is It deck. Uh, the Is It kind of have a mastery over instant spells which can be played at any time. From effects ranging from replicating the effect multiple times to um, affecting every creature with it. I'm getting annoyed by the magic these guys are casting. But my friend, uh, once he went, once he tried out the Demir, which their main gimmick is kind of getting rid of the opponent's cards and building up their graveyard. Their true power comes out when, e when at least one opponent has at least ten cards in the graveyard. And my friend combined other cards with it and made a deadly combination. By the time the combination comes about, uh, one particular card, there will be enough cards in the graveyard, hopefully, that there's at least 20. Then he plays Essence Harvest in conjunction with Consuming Apparition. Consuming Apparitions, Attack, and Toughness are based on the number of cards in each opponent's graveyard. In Essence Harvest, um, you gain life equal... The target opponent loses life equal to... The, 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 the strongest... You know, the highest power among creatures you control. Which... If there's at least 20 cards in, in the graveyards, well... And that strategy actually has taken me down the last time I played them. I also have the Rakdos Raid. Their main strategy is a crushing offense. Uh, with their Unleash ability, you can, uh... Your creatures will be slightly stronger after they're played, but they can't block. Which is good for the beginning game, because you put the pressure on your opponent early on. Then, later on in the game, where your opponent or opponents are better able to deal with your creatures, then you can start piling on the, the defense. I also have the Orzov deck. Orzov Oppression, I believe it's called. And their gimmick is uh, whenever you play a spell, you may pay uh, either black or white. Forgot to mention uh, the mirror are blue, black, and the Rakdos are black and red, which was actually the same color combination as my initial deck, the Feast of Flesh from the uh, New Phyrexia block. Or not, uh, set, not block. 
gosh, I'm crying out loud. Uh, um, the Orzhov have the extort ability. Whenever you play a spell, you may pay either black or white, as long as there's a creature with, the, with that ability out. And for each opponent there is, you take one life from each. And uh, like the Demir deck, against more opponents is much stronger. While I do, while I have devised several means to defeat the Demir deck, the problem is, can I even get them in my hand? What I'm going to try to do is get either a... Either a Simic or a Gruel deck to make a uh, trio and have other complementary colors. Or co yeah, complementary cards that aren't in, a, in the decks by default. I also have the uh, dual deck from the uh, Venzer vs. Koth set. Uh, I have the Koth Planeswalker. And um, now the other Planeswalker, Venzer, what he does is that he exiles other creatures. And. But they can return, depending on the effect you use. And, uh, pff, he's a lot more annoying than Koth. Koth can either turn one of your mountains into a creature to fight for you, pretty much, or double your mana pool. You can also turn your mountains into, well, free damage, really, if you give up using that mana. But considering that deck's almost half mountains, I don't think it'll be missed. I have combined my Golgari starter deck and dual deck into one, and I tried to take the best of both. However, recent games have told me that I probably could have done or made better. Uh, choices when combining the decks. Back to um, Dragon's Maze. The Is It Guild Leader, Niv Mizzet the Fire Mind, is interested in the implicit maze, ma implicit maze that exists in Ravnica. And it runs through all ten guilds. Eventually, it's discovered that, that some, I think something to do with the secret of Ravnica itself is tied to the implicit maze, and at the end is a source of great power. So the Izzet League decides to hold a contest. Each guild will have ten champions. Each, each guild has one champion. And they must pass through each guild to reach, reach the end of the maze. However, they must deal with the other guild's attempts at, uh, well, at least hindering them. And one uh, mythic rare card added in with Dragon's Maze is Maze End. It's the maze's end. If you control at least one of each of the ten guild gates or other gates, as the card's effect specifies ten or more with different names, uh, you automatically win. Sorry about that, my eyes are really itchy at the moment.
Oh, look at my experience. Look, it's over 9,000. See? See? Oh, darn it. I just had to do that. May not have been as dramatic as other examples would have been. But considering that the artwork was designed by Akira Toriyama, well... I have been working on a deck that's primarily, uh, instants, but from each of the five colors. Which I call Instant Chaos. However, since Dragon's Maze has reprints of Guild Gates, which each produce either or color, I decided that having those would be a really, really good idea for my deck. Considering the one time I tested it out, I lost because I had one or two colors of mana, and everything else in my hand was of the completely wrong colors. Not to mention I also have a heavy focus on particular colors. Well, that's a bit that's enough about uh, Magic the Gathering because we're playing Dragon Warrior for one. And two, I don't even know how many of you even play Magic the Gathering. But we're. Holy cow, are we really halfway there in only 15 minutes of actually leveling? Why are you getting all the excellent moves on killing blows? Finish up my herbs first. Jump, jump. Uh, one more battle. Well, this is only a wolf lord. Come on, give me a real enemy. I'm going to eat those words, aren't I? Yep! Jeez. Yep, I've officially eaten those words. Sleep! Thank you! Now watch him wake up. Oh. While I have said before, uh, my luck is at the point where it is predictable, I never said it was consistent. Alright, let's get the biscuit out of here. And no, I don't curse. I forgot to grab that curse belt, didn't I? Well, I'll be... Oh, get out of my way. Please, give me a room with a bed. I see no beds. You are a terrible innkeeper and should be fired. Or killed. Depending who your employer is. I mean, even the inn in Dragon Quest IX is nothing really more than a house has beds. How, how Dragon Quest VIII is a rest stop that's that is a house and has beds. Well, I suppose there are limited graphics in the nest, so 
And he did say room and board, so I'll probably just slept on a bit of wood or something. I had to use my helmet as a pillow. Those horns kept poking me while I rolled over. I still haven't gotten any words from that locksmith. I'd like to see a 3D model of the Droll. The Druins made it into Dragon Quest IX, but not the Drolls. Well, at least not that I've seen. I'm still struggling to beat the game. Considering I'm doing a bit of a self-imposed uh, level grinding, it's not that much of a surprise. Well, I finally did try to fight the final bosses, though. They, well, I got creamed after the first one. I didn't tell them what considers that what I just said to be spoiler. I probably would. Let's light this place up. <sighs> well, we only got 740 experience left, I believe. I don't know why, but I was procrastinating recording this today. Alright, now we just stay asleep for five seconds. Now, if he stays asleep for five seconds, oh, I don't even need to put him to sleep at this point. Although it'd be wise to do so. Yeah. Hmm. Do you think that would be a spiked tile? idea what to say right now. Thank <laughs> you. 
See what I mean? <sighs> Better on a weak specter like that than something, say, I don't know, a three headed flying dragon. That shoots lightning out of its mouth. Fortunately, I know no such thing that appears in anything outside of the Godzilla franchise. Other than brief parodies. Hmm. A three-headed dragon in Dungeons and Dragons. I wonder how that would be handled. Why am I face pawing? Go to sleep and don't wake up. What did I just tell you? You really want to do this, don't you, game? You'll win in the end because you're a bunch of data bits of pixels. Didn't want to do that. I don't have it. Eventually, it's going to escalate to the point where I would lose a lot less health if I didn't use sleep at all. Okay, there we go. Hopefully we'll last long enough for another 500 experience. If I can, I would like to get a head start on the next level. Which will probably take a very, very long time indeed. Of course. <sighs> okay, that's it. I'm just giving up. I'm putting him to sleep. Critical hit. I would have been very upset. That battle. That battle was a lot harder than it needed to be. The fact I'm using. I don't even know why I'm letting it go down like that. I mean, I have no idea. I'd probably be able to last a good bit longer in this dungeon if I wasn't using Radiant so much. I 
should probably stop using Radiant, and failing that, use it when it's dark. I had the jinx it earlier, didn't I, guys? Hurt me more, why don't you? <laughs> For a moment I thought the game actually listened to me. Which it did. I wonder if I could avoid a lot of the problems I end up having in games if I just keep my mouth shut. This episode is running a lot longer than I initially thought would. I wonder if the fairy flute works on normal enemies. Unfortunately, I don't know. <laughs> Look at those wraith knights with those silly pink boots. <laughs> Look at the wolf lords with those silly pink boots. Unfortunately, those are all the enemies that are pink that I'm aware of at the, at the present moment. I'll just stop casting Radiant at this point. We're so close. Mm, I hate on it. Well, wasted critical hit. Well, except on a particular enemy in this series. I'm sure most of you know what it is. Well, most of you have played other games in the series, if not this one. One shot anything that's supposed to fight at this point in the game. Help, it's all I can't see. And there's a wolf trying to eat me. I wonder how other guys on YouTube are so darn funny. And those lag spikes I was getting last episode. Apparently, Cave Story isn't as immune to it as I thought it was. For some reason, I was getting lag spikes in full screen mode as well. This does not bode well for normal gameplay. Although, the good news is, I started a new game and I'm taking a slightly different approach to it than normal. Another 20? 
I even predicted the right down to the number. I'm under the impression that the uh, enemy's heal is more effective than yours will ever be. I'm so close. Ah. Speak of the devil. I don't know why these are happening. If I were, if I knew, I would have stopped them by now. Or at least tried, or at least tried to. Come on, come on. Four more. Four more battles. And that should do it. Four more. Come on! Come on, game! Work with me here! Look, I'm sure not just me, but everyone else watching the video is getting a bit of fatigue considering I'm doing nothing but level grinding when I should actually be doing this off screen. But the reason why I'm recording this is because, one, I just want to show this off, and two, I'll accomplish something like that. Summer power 9 speed, 7 health, and ooh, 2 magic. But finally, we learn repel. And what does it do? Oh, that's a lot cheaper than I thought it'd be. In later games of the series, it's also called Holy Protection. And it is much more expensive. It's at least four. And Dragon Quest VI, to level up your classes, that's really the... only way to guarantee your class level will increase, as it's based on the strength of the enemies. Since, as I mentioned before, I tend to be over-leveled, because I get all the equipment I possibly can, my... Uh, the main character still has yet to gain even one level up. Whereas the second character to join has only gotten one, if that. Maybe three. Oh, cow, 13,000. Well, I guess there's really not much avoiding it now. No. Next time, we'll probably do something that's actually critical to the plot. This time for sure. This is King of Arlia signing off. Have a good day.